and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own skybox. To see our skybox inside the level, we need a hole in the wall. I will use the clipper to get that hole into the wall. Then I will create an area outside this room which contains a sort of outside garden and the sky portal texture. Remember not to select a texture which has its name in brackets or is displayed in blue or cyan color because this could make your map leak and fail the compile process of the visual calculation. To load the sky portal texture click on textures common. Select a texture that reads sky portal. It should have brackets and be displayed in cyan or blue color. Ignore all other sky textures as they are either broken or not meant to be used in this context. Apply the cold texture on the outside of these walls as the player should not be able to ever see them unless you want the player to explore this area by any means. I want the player to see through and shoot through but I don't want the player to ever exit through that hole so I have to place some kind of barrier. In this case, I'm using a move clip, which prevents the player from moving through this brush. Other entities can still pass through, like projectiles, actors and everything else, with the exception of some Team AI members. We need a new room for the skybox. Create a new brush, apply the cold texture and click on the hollow button. Create a new brush inside the skybox. Pressing N on the keyboard will toggle the entity selection window. Select from the list script sky origin. Observe the class name of the brush changing to script sky origin. It is no longer part of the world spawn. Apply the new draw texture. If you give the script sky origin entity a target name, it can be accessed via script later. Right click on a 2D view window and select from the context menu sky m5 sky box. A new model will spawn. Position the model so that it fits within the new skybox room. If necessary, scale the model from the entity window or change the size of the skybox room. Press spacebar to make a copy of the selected object. Open the entity window and select sky m5 dome. Make a copy of the dome model in the sky box and select from the entity menu sky m5 clouds. Select from the menu build map quick compile bsp and vis. You should now have a working sky box in your level.
But we're not stopping there. We want to have it more immersive. Let's change a few things. And again, let's change a few things. Select from the menu Build Map, Quick Compile, BSP, and VIS. And again, let's change a few things. Adding a few models to the skybox, scaling them down, positioning them right, can add a lot to the level.
I hope this was useful to you. See you next time.